Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Lalit Rao and I thank you for watching Philosophy Network channel on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to speak to you about British philosopher Robin George Collingwood who was born in the year 1889 and died in the year 1943. Robin George Collingwood was a famous British philosopher and archaeologist whose work was wide-ranging, covering topics as diverse as aesthetics, metaphysics and the philosophy of mind and of history. At the beginning of his career, Collingwood tended towards idealism. He was more in sympathy with Bradley and Croce than with the realist Russell or Moore. Collingwood produced an important work of political philosophy, The New Leviathan, written in the year 1942, in which he sought to provide a theoretical defense of liberalism in the face of contemporary opposition from fascism and nazism. Collingwood's historical work gave him a special interest in the activity of understanding and interpreting the past. It was an activity which he saw as continuous with our self-understanding and self-interpretation. His book, The Idea of History, which was published posthumously in 1945, received particular attention by later philosophers of history. Collingwood stressed how the meaning of sentences is given by the practical problems and questions to which they provide answers. According to Collingwood, freedom consists in self-direction in accordance with a moral will, a will based on a recognition of the claims of other people to self-direction. For Collingwood, a priori is a doubtful and shifting historical category. He stressed Hegelian insight that people essentially discovered themselves first as members of communities, not as self-sufficient individuals. Collingwood placed a particular emphasis on the educative governments necessary for the creation of free persons and on the need to extend liberal principles to interstate relations. Collingwood's major works include books such as Speculum Mentis written in 1924, The Idea of History written in 1946 and The Principles of Art written in 1938. Lastly, towards the end of his career in his work Essay on Metaphysics written in 1940, Collingwood argued for a full-bodied identification of metaphysics with history. Thank you very much for having watched this video.